Coach Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you on the Toyota College Football Preview Show. Each and every week, we're breaking down the most important games in each game, an individual segment right here on CBSSports.com. This time, we're talking about a game that if it were five years ago, we'd be talking about a top 10 matchup, but still, there are some upset possibilities and some intrigue. And for more, we bring in Spencer Tillman joining us from Houston, as he will all season long. And Spencer, it's Kansas State visiting number 18 Auburn. And last year, Ron Prince for the Wildcats. It was his first season, and he led them back to a bowl game. What do you think they'll have to do to pull off the upset? Well, they got to run the ball, but I think Josh Freeman, their quarterback, is going to be the key. He's got two young running backs that he can rely on, but again, he's got a guy that's athletic. He started as a freshman last year, did Freeman at quarterback, and he's really matured and come along. He's a big guy, but he can also pull it down and run with it. So I think they're going to rely on him and his maturity, believe it or not, even as a sophomore, to really help them over the top. Freeman, though, in that environment, you mentioned just the fact that he's just a sophomore. Will he be able to overcome the environment? I mean, the stadium in Auburn is... I mean, it, it's magical on Saturday. <laughs> intimidating to, to say the least well we'll have to see that and, and I think one thing about it is he's had a little track record Kansas State is walking with a little bit of a swagger let's not forget now this is a team that beat the then defending champion Texas Longhorns last year and of course they were at Kansas State they were at Manhattan so that made a difference but that quarterback gained a lot of experience being under center in that context and so they walk in does Ron Prince's Wildcats with a certain measure of confidence that they wouldn't otherwise so he can now leverage that success and walk in and say hey guys look we beat the defending national champion when we go going here in Auburn. Yes, they've got a great tradition. We're going to be successful because we, too, have a short tradition. All right, Spencer. As for Auburn, you mentioned Freeman for Kansas State at quarterback. Auburn may go this season as Brandon Cox does. He struggled a little bit last year to stay healthy. Can he exploit this Kansas State defense? Well, I think he can. I mean, Zach Diles, who was leading that team in tackles for Kansas State last year, is now playing with the Houston Texans. He's an outstanding guy, but they don't have his services available anymore. Somebody's got to step up defensively. They've got a couple of edge rushers that may be problematic, but Auburn's run game traditionally has been solid enough to keep teams at bay in that regard. Brandon Cox has got to remain healthy, and Al Borges, their offensive coordinator, has got to get him playing consistent. When he plays consistent and he is free from injury, they are very difficult to beat. And again, you and I talked off camera. Auburn's going to have the, uh, the duo at running back this year. It's not Kenny Irons, but they will have a duo. You think Auburn's duo and Brandon Cox will win this ballgame? Brad Lester, Ben Tate, two quality running backs, and if you look historically, that's what Tommy Tuberville does, whether it's Ronnie Brown or Cadillac Williams, he's going to have two, and it takes two to go wire to wire in college football these days. So those two are adequate enough. Again, it's all about Brandon Cox and quarterback play. It goes in tandem. They'll use the run to set up the pass, but the Cox is the key. He's the linchpin in their offensive system. Does Cox get the victory? Uh, I think so. A little bit too much to overcome, yeah. Kansas State has the win over Texas in their hip pocket, but you just can't go into Auburn. Jordan, Jordan Hare Stadium is a tough place to play. Auburn wins it by a touchdown or more. All right, thanks a lot, Spencer. We'll get back to you next week for week two of college football. All right, good to see you, Jason. All right, folks, there you have it. A breakdown of Kansas State and Auburn should be a very, very good ball game. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. For more on this game or the rest of college football week one, stay right here on CBSSports.com. Take care.